Nigel Bruce, the actor, was born in 1895 in England and is best known for his role as Dr. John Watson in the Sherlock Holmes film series in the 1930s and 1940s. Before his film career, he trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and appeared in several stage productions in London's West End. In 1939, Bruce moved to the United States and began appearing in Hollywood films. It was his role as Dr. Watson opposite Basil Rathbone's Sherlock Holmes that brought him widespread recognition and fame. The duo went on to make 14 films together, becoming one of the most beloved detective teams in cinema history. Bruce's portrayal of Dr. Watson was unique in that he played the character as a bumbling yet lovable sidekick rather than the intelligent and capable doctor of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's original stories. This interpretation of the character has been both praised and criticized, but it has undeniably left a lasting impact on the way Dr. Watson is depicted in popular culture. Despite his success in the Sherlock Holmes films, Bruce continued to appear in other productions, including stage plays, radio dramas, and television shows. He even reprised his role as Dr. Watson in a radio series that aired from 1945 to 1946. Nigel Bruce passed away in 1953, but his legacy lives on. His portrayal of Dr. Watson remains a classic example of the bumbling sidekick and has inspired countless other actors in the role. His contributions to the world of film and theater continue to be celebrated and remembered. Are you familiar with the British actor Nigel Bruce? Known for his portly frame and distinctive voice, he became a household name playing Dr. John Watson alongside Basil Rathbones, Sherlock Holmes in a series of films during the 1930s and 40s. Perhaps you have a fond memory of watching these movies with your family or discovered them on your own later in life. We'd love to hear about it. Share your favorite story or personal experience related to Nigel Bruce in the comments section below. Throughout his career, the actor appeared in numerous stage productions, radio shows, and even lent his talents to television before passing away in 1953. But there's much more to learn about him. Both amusing anecdotes and surprising trivia await. Did you know that despite being typecast as Watson, Nigel Bruce initially disliked the character? or that he served as president of the Screen Actors Guild during World War II? And what about his untimely death while still active in the industry? Stay tuned to uncover these fun facts, and more about this beloved classic star. Nigel Bruce, born in 1895, was raised in a family where theatrical success was not uncommon. His father, Sir William Waller Bruce, was a diplomat and author, while his mother, Angela Burdett Coutts, was the granddaughter of the famous philanthropist and banker Thomas Coutts. This affluent upbringing provided Bruce with opportunities to travel and explore different cultures, which later influenced his acting career. Bruce's early exposure to the craft can be traced back to his time at Eton College, where he developed an interest in drama. He later attended the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst, but his passion for acting led him to leave and pursue a career on the stage. In the early years of his career, Bruce worked with several influential figures in the theater world. One of his earliest mentors was the renowned actor-manager, Sir Frank Benson, who cast Bruce in several of his productions. Benson's emphasis on classical training and discipline left a lasting impact on the young actor. Another key influence in Bruce's life was the American actor, William Gillette. Known for his portrayal of Sherlock Holmes, Gillette's charismatic and nuanced performances inspired Bruce to hone his own acting skills and explore the complexities of character development. As Bruce's career progressed, he transitioned from the stage to film, where he continued to work with influential figures in the industry. One such individual was the director, Alfred Hitchcock, who cast Bruce in his classic film, Rebecca. Hitchcock's meticulous attention to detail and innovative storytelling techniques challenged Bruce to push the boundaries of his craft. In addition to his work with Hitchcock, Bruce is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Dr. John Watson in the Sherlock Holmes film series alongside Basil Rathbone. The chemistry between the two actors 
and their nuanced portrayals of the iconic characters have left a lasting impact on the film industry and continue to be celebrated to this day. In conclusion, Nigel Bruce's upbringing, early exposure to the craft, and mentors played a significant role in shaping his career as an actor. From his classical training with Sir Frank Benson to his work with Alfred Hitchcock and Basil Rathbone, Bruce's path was influenced by some of the most innovative and influential figures in the theater and film worlds. Nigel Bruce, born William Nigel Brudenell Bullock, on February 4, 1895, was a British actor celebrated for his portrayal of lovable, yet bumbling sidekicks. His most notable role was Dr. John Watson in the Sherlock Holmes films alongside Basil Rathbone during the 1940s. Despite initial skepticism due to his contrasting image from previous Watsons, Bruce won over audiences with his warm and humorous performance. This interpretation became so popular that it has since been widely referenced in pop culture. Throughout his career, which spanned nearly four decades, Nigel Bruce appeared in numerous stage productions, radio shows, and films. He worked with prestigious companies like the Old Vic Theatre Company and made appearances in Hollywood movies opposite stars such as Greta Garbo and Katherine Hepburn. However, he truly left his mark playing Dr. Watson solidifying himself as a beloved figure in American cinema. Even today, fans continue to appreciate his contributions to this classic series. As a young boy, Nigel Bruce found joy in performing in school plays. His love for acting grew stronger with each role he took on. However, it was his performance in the play, The Absence of Mr. Glass, that truly ignited his passion for the crap. In this production, Bruce played the part of a bumbling detective, which brought him both critical acclaim and personal satisfaction. This experience solidified his decision to become an actor, leading him down a path filled with memorable roles and unforgettable performances. In The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, the second film of the popular detective series, Nigel Bruce took on the role of Dr. Watson. Interestingly, despite his portrayal of an older Watson, Bruce was actually two years younger than Basil Rathbone, who played the brilliant detective Sherlock Holmes. This initial film, set in 1894 London, differed from the rest of the series which unfolded in contemporary settings. As the series progressed, so did the partnership between these two iconic characters. One notable example can be found in Terror by Night, the 13th movie featuring the duo. Here, Nigel Bruce reprised his role as Dr. John H. Watson, assisting Rathbone's Holmes in solving yet another intriguing mystery. Throughout their collaborative efforts, both actors brought depth and charm to their respective roles, solidifying the dynamic partnership depicted in Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's original work. Their chemistry transcended time periods, leaving behind a timeless legacy still admired today. Delving deeper into each film reveals more about how effectively Nigel Bruce embodied the steadfast and loyal character of Dr. Watson alongside the sharp wit and deductive prowess exhibited by Basil Rathbone's beloved Holmes. Early in his career, Nigel Bruce faced many obstacles. Financial struggles were common, leaving him to rely on the support of friends and family. Despite these hardships, he remained determined to succeed in the acting world. Skepticism from industry professionals was another challenge. Some doubted his talent and questioned his ability to land leading roles. But Nigel Bruce refused to let this discourage him. Instead, he used it as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs outside of acting, including working as a tutor and a clerk. He also continued to study his craft, taking classes and attending workshops to improve his skills. Despite facing numerous setbacks, Nigel Bruce never gave up on his dream. His perseverance paid off when he finally landed his breakout role in the African tragedy. This success helped establish him as a respected actor in the industry and opened doors for future opportunities. Through determination and hard work, Nigel Bruce overcame the initial obstacles in his career and went on to become a beloved figure in classical Hollywood cinema. Nigel Bruce 
is best known for his unforgettable portrayal of Dr. John Watson in Universal's World War II era homes. Films, his performance as Watson opposite Basil Rathbone's Sherlock Holmes is so iconic that it has left a lasting impression on audiences. The chemistry between the two actors was undeniable, making their partnership one of the most memorable in cinematic history. In The Woman in Green, viewers might initially think they are watching a different set of actors as Bruce, and Rathbone's entrance is not immediately apparent. However, once their faces and signature large pipe are visible, fans of the series will quickly recognize them. Interestingly, the Woman in Green marks a departure from previous films in the series, as the main credits no longer list the characters played by Rathbone and Bruce. This change, while seemingly minor, is a notable shift in the way the actors were billed. Despite this change, Nigel Bruce's portrayal of Dr. Watson remained consistent throughout the series. His bumbling, affable take on the character provided a perfect counterbalance to Rathbone's sharp analytical homes. Together they brought to life a classic duo that continues to captivate audiences to this day. In the late 1930s, a breakthrough moment came for Nigel Bruce, when he took on the role of Dr. John Watson alongside Basil Rathbone's Sherlock Holmes in The Hound of the Baskerville. This classic film adaptation brought new life to Arthur Conan Doyle's detective stories and solidified Bruce's place as a beloved character actor. Critics praised his portrayal of Watson highlighting his perfect comedic timing and chemistry with Rathbone. This successful duo continued to shine in 13 more films, securing their status as one of Hollywood's most iconic detective teams. Over time, Bruce's interpretation became so popular that it influenced later depictions of Watson in literature, radio, television, and even animation. His performance transcended the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on pop culture and solidifying his legacy. Despite playing other roles throughout his career, Nigel Bruce will always be remembered for his outstanding contributions to the Sherlock Holmes series. Fans continue to cherish these classic mysteries, captivated by the witty banner and camaraderie between Holmes and Watson, a testament to the lasting power of great storytelling and exceptional performances. In Sherlock Holmes and The Secret Weapon, the actor Nigel Bruce portrayed Dr. Watson, marking his fourth appearance alongside Basil Rathbone in the Sherlock Holmes film series. This movie was the 14th adaptation of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's famous consulting detective. Notably, it's in The Woman in Green where we hear about Mycroft Holmes. Even though Dr. Watson, played by Nigel Bruce, doesn't physically appear in the scene. Moving forward to the adventures of Sherlock Holmes, again featuring Nigel Bruce as Dr. Watson. This second installment offers more insight into their partnership. As the story unfolds, we see how the duo complements each other, despite their differences. Their chemistry adds depth to these adaptations of Conan Doyle's works. Nigel Bruce, known for his portly frame and distinctive voice, brought a unique style to his acting. He approached his work with a dedication to detail and a commitment to authenticity. Bruce once said, I try to find the truth in every character I play. This approach allowed him to create memorable performances that felt genuine and relatable. One aspect that made Bruce's style unique was his ability to balance humor and drama. In his most famous role as Dr. Watson in the Sherlock Holmes films, he brought a warmth and likability to the character that endeared him to audiences. At the same time, he was able to convey the seriousness and intensity required by the story. Bruce's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. Having served in World War I, he brought a sense of duty and honor to his roles. He was also known for his generosity and kindness off-screen, which translated into his portrayal of characters with a strong moral compass. In addition, Bruce had a deep appreciation for the classics. He was a member of the Old Vic Theatre Company and appeared in many Shakespearean productions. This love for the stage influenced his film work as he brought a sense of grandeur and sophistication to his performances. Overall, Nigel Bruce's artistic vision and process were characterized by his dedication to authenticity, his ability to balance humor 
and drama, and his appreciation for the classics. His unique style and approach continue to resonate with audiences today, making him a beloved figure in the world of classic film. Nigel Bruce is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Dr. Watson in the Sherlock Holmes film series, including The Woman in Green. This role marked his 11th appearance in the series, which featured Basil Rathbone as the famous detective. Bruce's acting career began on stage in 1920, and his talent for bringing characters to life was evident from the start. His portrayal of Beaky in the film Suspicion earned him recognition and a place in the hearts of audiences. In addition to his work on screen, Bruce also lent his talents to radio. A 30-minute radio adaptation of Suspicion was broadcast on November 24, 1949, featuring Joan Fontaine, Cary Grant, and Nigel Bruce reprising their roles. Bruce's contributions to the world of acting are still celebrated today, and his classic performances continue to captivate audiences young and old. Whether on stage, screen or radio, Nigel Bruce left an indelible mark on the acting world. Nigel Bruce best known for his portrayal of Dr. John Watson in the Sherlock Holmes films of the 1930s and 1940s, had a significant impact on the acting industry. His interpretation of Watson was different from previous versions, presenting him as more comical and less competent than the brilliant detective, which became a popular adaptation. The actor's ability to bring humor and warmth to the character created a unique dynamic between Watson and Holmes. Leonard Leff, author of the Hollywood film Music Reader, states that Watson provided both ballast and foil to the great detective. This new take on Watson helped humanize Holmes, making the stories even more appealing to audiences. Moreover, Nigel Bruce set a precedent for future Watsons by giving them a distinct personality rather than just being a sidekick. As David Stewart Davies, crime writer and historian puts it, Bruce left a legacy of treating Watson as a man of some depth. Contemporary actors playing Watson have often cited Bruce as an influence due to the way he brought humanity and charm to the role while still maintaining respectability. Furthermore, Nigel Bruce contributed significantly to radio programs, particularly through his work alongside Basil Rathbone in The New Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Their chemistry translated seamlessly into this medium, captivating listeners, and keeping interest alive during World War II when movie production slowed down. Despite criticisms regarding his bumbling depiction of Watson, there's no denying that Nigel Bruce played a crucial part in shaping the modern perception of one half of literature's most famous duos. He proved that comedy could enhance drama and paved the way for subsequent interpretations of Watson that delved deeper into the character's potential. In the fifth film of the Sherlock Holmes series, Sherlock Holmes in Washington, Nigel Bruce reprised his role as Dr. Watson. The film, based on Arthur Conan Doyle's fictional detective, also starred Basil Rathbone as Holmes. Later, in the movie Suspicion, Nigel Bruce played the character Beaky. The Screen Guild Theater broadcast a radio adaptation of this film, with Cary Grant and Nigel Bruce reprising their roles. In The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Nigel Bruce played Dr. Watson. Initially, Lionel Atwill was cast as Professor Moriarty, but was replaced by George Zuko. Atwill, however, went on to play Moriarty in Sherlock Holmes and The Secret Weapon, which also starred Rathbone and Bruce. Throughout his career, the actor was known for his memorable performances in Vario adaptations and radio adaptation. His portrayal of Dr. Watson in the Sherlock Holmes series remains a classic, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Nigel Bruce, best known for his portrayal of Dr. John Watson in the Sherlock Holmes film series, led a life that was as interesting outside of his professional sphere as it was on screen. He was a devoted family man, married to his wife, Violet. For over 25 years, until his death in 1953, Together, they had two children, Belinda and Simon. Beyond his family, Bruce was passionate about various causes, one of which was the Actors' Orphanage Fund. He served as the chairman of the fund, which provided support and care for children who had lost one or both parents in the acting profession. Bruce's dedication to this cause was a testament to his compassion 
and empathy towards those in need. Moreover, Bruce was an animal lover and had a particular fondness for dogs. He owned several dogs throughout his life and often featured them in his films. His love for dogs was so well known that he was often referred to as the man who loved dogs. As for his work, Bruce's personal values and interests often informed his roles. For instance, his portrayal of Dr. Watson was that of a loyal and trustworthy friend, reflecting his own values of loyalty and friendship. Similarly, his love for dogs was evident in many of his films, where he often shared the screen with canine co-stars. In summary, Nigel Bruce was a devoted family man, a compassionate advocate for children in need, and a lover of animals. His personal values and interests often informed his work, making him a beloved figure in the world of classic cinema. In the twilight of 1944, actor Nigel Bruce undertook a new project, penning his memoirs titled Games, Gossip, and Grease Paint. Alas, these reminiscences remained unpublished, save for several excerpts featured in the winter issue of 1998's The Sherlock Holmes Journal. Parallel to their professional partnership, Bruce shared a close bond with fellow thespian Basil Rathbone offstage. Their camaraderie led to affectionate nicknames like Bunny and Willie, bestowed upon Bruce by Rathbone. Audiences may recall seeing Nigel Bruce alongside Rathbone in Treasure Island, where he portrayed Squire Trelawney. Five years subsequent to this collaboration, they reunited for the Sherlock Holmes series of films, starting with 1939's The Hound of the Baskervilles and culminating in 1946's Dress to Kill. Nigel Bruce, known for his portrayal of Dr. Watson alongside Basil Rathbone's Sherlock Holmes, has left an undeniable mark on the acting world. His performances brought warmth and humor to these classic films, endearing him to audiences worldwide. Despite passing away in 1953, his work continues to resonate today. For those hoping to follow in his footsteps, Bruce would likely advise embracing versatility and finding joy in every role. He once said, I have always found it easy to laugh and equally easy to shed tears. This ability to tap into a wide range of emotions served him well throughout his career. Moreover, he understood the importance of collaboration. In working with Rathbone, he created one of cinema's most memorable duos. Aspiring actors can learn from this partnership, understanding that success often hinges on our ability to work together and support each other's growth. Lastly, Bruce approached his roles with dedication and professionalism. Even when playing a supporting character like Dr. Watson, he made the part his own, delivering nuanced performances that added depth to each story. This commitment to craft remains crucial for anyone seeking longevity in the entertainment industry. Nigel Bruce, known for his portrayal of Dr. John Watson in the Sherlock Holmes film series, left an undeniable mark on the world of classic cinema. His work, spanning from 1939 to 1946, showcased his exceptional talent and unique take on the iconic character. Bruce's Watson was not the bumbling sidekick often depicted in later adaptations. Instead, he was a capable and intelligent ally to the brilliant detective, played by Basil Rathbone. This classic duo captivated audiences and elevated the Sherlock Holmes stories to new heights. The actor's charm and wit resonated with viewers making him a beloved figure in the golden age of cinema. His portrayal of Watson remains one of the most iconic and enduring in the history of film. Nigel Bruce's legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. His work serves as a testament to the power of subtle, nuanced performances that can leave a lasting impact on audiences. So, let us celebrate this classic actor and his contributions to the world of entertainment. Share your thoughts on Nigel Bruce's work and legacy in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping the entertainment landscape.